Hello everyone, B115 here today, and today we're playing Game Dev Tycoon Simulator thing. Game Dev Tycoon, not simulator. I don't think there's much of a difference, but there is for now. And my webcam's kind of lagging. I don't like that. But we're going to continue anyway. Game fans, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon in this business simulator. You have been... Transported back in time to start your very own video game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, game fans, and become a leader in, of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming, com upcoming company a name. Uh... Let's call it Conquer Studios. I don't think that's how it's spelled right, but that's where we're going to leave it. And going to call ourselves Bardom. Why? Because. Is there? Oh, wow, there is some customizability here where's the brown hair that best suits me uh, I think I already passed the beginning yeah that better suits me where is there a black eh go with the gray why not or that could be brown I don't know And I think, yeah, let's get going. Sponsor, you're going to start up by the game. Yep. Eh, I can't see that. The screen's too small. All right, what do I do? Develop new game. For developing a game, you must decide what kind of game you want to create and give your Game a name, if you can also select which graphics and technology your game should use. Your options are niche. Ugh. I can't read it all. <coughs> your options are initially, initially, ugh, initially limited, but once you have a bit. I am sucking. Once you have a bit of experience, you should be able to unlock new options. So let's pick a topic. Let's go city, genre. Let's go RPG. Uh, just gonna go PC. And we're gonna go Oops, that's not how you spell city. City takeover. Takeover number one. 10K. Go text based first. Game development runs in th uh, through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game greatly increases the points you generate. <coughs> Think about what are the areas that are important to your game and decide and decrease the focus areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay. Okay, so RPG. Well, it's text based, so let's do story and quest. Engine is less important. Uh 
By the way, I have watched some gameplay on this game. Can't even do that. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you you will generate game points in which you can see bubble up, bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points will become less likely once you gain experience. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I swear I'm not going through puberty again. Okay, if you fix before the game is released, increase the development time and cost. Stage two. Dialogue, level design, and artificial intelligence. I don't think AI is going to be a key factor here. I think dialogue and uh, level design can go down a bit. So I've watched Jacksepticeye play this. And the reason why I seen this game and I was like ooh this seems like fun during development you can also select additional features for your game right now you can only pick basic sound but your options will increase quickly selecting additional features makes the game generally better but it also increases the cost its cost you'll also see the graphical type you selected when you defined the game this is just to remind, uh, to remind you of your choices. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Oh boy, mom's talking. My mom's up. Didn't I already choose this? Text-based. Uh, oh, this slightly sound. World design will be slightly up, I think. I, oh, I can take those away. All right. And uh, I found another game like this in which I hope I can find it again. Not complete. You can press the finish button to publish a game, but you should only do this once you fix the majority of the bugs. And which I'm gonna do. Releasing a game without fixing the box can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay. Alright. Ah, bugs, go away. There we go, finish. The development, of, the development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you can gain experience and improve your skills. While development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay. Sure, why not? First game. The game is now complete and will be handled off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. The first reviews in our newly released game, City Takeover 1, came in. Not bad. That is not bad for a first game out there. Something to think about. 
After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit more time to analyze your creations and generate game reports. Game reports are a great way to gain research points, as well as valuable insight to what works and what doesn't work in develop when developing a game. To generate a game, close uh, to generate a game report. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Generate game report. Select. Funker Studios. The Funker Studios, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, City Takeover Number One. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what the Bunker Studios will deliver in the future. <coughs> Man, I really gotta work on my pacing when reading. 2,538 units in its first week on the market. Not bad. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week if you see how well your game is doing by looking on the sales graph on the top right screen. City Takeover number one was so successful that it now has seven fans. Nice. City and RPG, bad combination. Graphics seem important for this type of game. Performance, genre, match. Okay. So, City and RPG, bad combination. Oh, there's so much tutorials. All right. Game, rep game reports are a great way to gain more research points and insights. It pays off to generate a game report each game that you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to have a look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message, click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make a better game. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. All right. And try to develop games with different topics and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Okay. What do I got? 20. Let's do a new topic. Go dungeon. Start research. Where are we at for time? 13 minutes. Yeah, I'll go longer. Why not? Research dungeon. All right. So it's time to make a new game. So I'll pick target, topic, we're going to go dungeon, we're going to go RPG, PC, okay let's go dungeon raider, we pull in. Dungeon Raider, why not? Gonna do a 2D graphics. I shouldn't have done RPG then if I was gonna do 2D graphics. Ooh, so. Right, gonna do that. I wonder what technology does for me. 
Dungeon Raider, RPG, Dialogue. AI is going to be slightly better in this one. Level design, I think that's good. Dialogue can probably be brought down a smidgen. Oh, I was probably talking about uh, the one game. City Takeover 1 is now off the market. It has sold 8,914 units generated. 62,419 in sales. Nice. Recent market studies suggest that the Garfador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the low price, greater availability, and the flexibility in hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that it might spell the end of complete competing hardware manufacturers. I don't know, what is that, a Commodore? Yeah, I guess. And so the game I saw earlier, it's like a more in-depth version of uh, this, where you got to build your own structures and then fill it all up with uh, people and hardware and stuff, in which I really want to get my hands on that one. That's uh, micromanaging to the max. While generating game reports, you have to start to gain insight into the process and learn about the works and works well and what doesn't work so well these insights are shown as hints on the development screen unless you have turned this option off in the settings the hints range from plus 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 to negative negative which indicates how important the area is for the type of game when hints have question marks at the ends it means that you have insight from a game from the same genre but you are not sure yet whether it holds the true true for this particular game genre slash topic combination i need to get better at reading i am terrible at that i'm taking too many breaks gonna bump you down we're gonna bump up sound a bit and we're gonna go again I wonder if this is a DeLorean. I wonder if they just had that fun. All right, let's get rid of them bugs. We'll do one more, or no. We'll just generate the game report for this one and we'll call it an episode. Nice. New records. Gameplay, story quest, dialogues, new level, artificial intelligence. Far done. New records all around. Why not just release the game? Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic slash genre combination. I can never see those because I have such a small screen. The first reviews of our newly released game, Dungeon Raider, came in. Come on, come on. It's still all over. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, waste of time. Ooh. Oh. I'm being stung down. It has its moments. Well, let's see. You guys do better. Just starting out. Give me a break, man. All right. According to rumors, Japanese company Nintendo, Nintendo is planning to unlaunch their very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known for their widely successful arcade game, Dinky Kong. <laughs> Trademarks and stuff, always make things so hard. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming console will never take off, or consoles will, ugh, home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nin, uh, I'm just calling them a Nintendo, Nintendo will deliver. 1.8. Oh, I lost a fan. That's not nice. Oh, we're also getting fans. Nice. Maybe. Oh, 
Don't go, guys. I can be cool. All right, we're gonna generate. Let the rifle in. Generate the game report. Dungeon creator. And we're gonna do that. Let's see what we got. Confirming the recent rumors and announcing their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES. Earlier next year, the console frequently cartridges features cartridge cartridge based games and unique design controller. Uh, the NES. Our post release, yeah, post release analysis of Dungeon Raider is complete, and we've got a, we've got the following results: Dungeon and RPG, great combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. All right, I now know that. So can I? Came off the market. Dungeon Raider is now off the market. Sold seven thousand two hundred and nine units generated. Fifty thousand in sales. All right, not bad. All right, gonna pause that there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I've been really hoping to get to this soon, or, or I've been hoping to get to it, in which I love this kind of stuff. I don't know if it's like, I don't know, what is this considered a uh, resource management type thing? I don't know, either way, I'm glad to be playing it. It's fun and interesting. Like, I know it's not exactly perfect to how the, uh, how game devs or how game creators do that in real life like I'm imagining it's way harder in programming and then which programming I'm terrible at <laughs> but yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments below and yeah ooh there's mods I may have to look into that it's around once in a while anyway I'll see you all in the next video bye